Hey everyone, Lazy Link here. Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, depending on where you are. Thank you for watching. All right, so let's go ahead and continue our quest here on uh, going to um, over to confront Hutzbane. But also, I saw as well. There is a mission over here that we can go ahead and partake in. Let's see what this guy's got for us. Shua hi, stranger. That's Evo Kai native speak for hello. Don't get a lot of visitors here who aren't backward savages. You uh, come to the work camp looking for laborers? I have other business. Just stopped here out of curiosity. Well, good to meet you then. Nice talking with someone who doesn't live in the mud for a change. My name's Marsunta, by the way. Ideal salvage to the Evokai. Smelly work, but profitable. Most Evokai are decent, though not too bright. Like my little helper here. Say hello, Imat. Welcome to Varsunta's many treasures. Do you know the Black Death who slaughters my people? Imat, I keep telling you, not every offworlder knows the Black Death. Oh, ignore him, stranger. This isn't your problem. Well, that's all right. What is this? Uh, sounds like there's... Uh... What's here. the situation? Ah, uh, some crazy rich guy running around shooting Evokai. Big pain in the neck. The Black Death kills my people for sport. Butchers women and children. He started out hunting hostile Evokai in the swamps, but now he's killing ones from the work camp. Having the time of his life. Keeps their ears and teeth as trophies. If this slaughter keeps up, I might have to get a real job. You know, I'll bet someone like you could convince this guy to quit. I'd sure make it worth your while. Well... If this guy doesn't take the hint, you want me to kill him? Hmm. Violence is bad for business. Your call, though. You're looking for a vehicle out in the swamps surrounded by security droids. This uh, Black Death guy doesn't like visitors. You'll probably want to do something about his droids before you try talking to him. Good luck! Alright. Black Death, huh? not sound good so let's well it's gone the, our way over to where we need to go so might as well check it out right. and uh, also uh, you know if you play this game as well let me know what characters you have because uh, Maybe we can, you know, get together, play a little bit, or, or, you know, that would be fun. All right, let's let's get these guys out of here. Oh. All right, let's do some rocket punch. Boom. <laughs> uh, nah, it never gets old. What do we got here? Stop this nonsense at once! What do you think you're doing blasting my droids? I'm a senior administrator of Zerka Corporation! Zerka, huh? You could be the Queen of Naboo for all I care. <laughs> Watch your tone, little boy. I'm an important man. I demand to know why you're disturbing my hunting trip. You have a sick fascination with collecting the natives' ears. I always take trophies for my kills. It's half the joy. I have Gundark ears and Ranker tusks, too. We both know Ibo Kai are no better than act dogs, so stop pretending this is about them. Look, I understand how things work here on Hata. I'll pay you handsomely to leave me in peace. Well... You know, I do like money. Bounty Hunter. Let's do it. You got a deal. I couldn't care less about the evil guy. You rabble. Always grasping for a few extra credits, aren't you? Yeah, take them. Yeah. Do not disturb my holiday again. Understand? Got some nice credits there. Sweet. 
Ooh, got some also gauntlets too. So let's put on those new gauntlets. Let's check out our character now. Looking good. He's getting there. He's getting there. Alright, so now we gotta go to let's mean. I'm a bounty hunter, what do you expect? I'm not gonna be good. So yeah. Let's get these guys out of here. Check out the uh, flamethrower. Yeah, there we go. Ooh, we got uh, a bonus quest here. So let's go ahead and check that out. To defeat these dudes. Alright, so let's do that. Alright, there we go. Seven more. I wonder what this is. Ebook Totem. Nice. Oop. Oh! Now you're burning. <laughs> oh, that never gets old. Flamethrowers. They're awesome. I wonder what goes ahead and keeps up my energy or the heat. I mean, I know the missile does, but I'm not sure what else. So I can do more rocket punches to the face. <laughs> there we go. All right, let's go. Check out Hut's Bane in here. Let's see what we got. Emerald found someone with no morals to destroy my village. Are you proud of yourself? Filthy murderer! Will you butcher all the women and children as well? No, nope, just you, sir. Nobody else needs to die but you, Hut's Bane. There is no reason to kill Hut's Bane. The huts would slaughter us like criminals, when it is they who have taken what is not theirs. Yes, this planet was home for Evokai long before the huts came. You are a warrior. You must understand why we fight for our birthright. Ooh, got a raw deal. If you got a pitch, hurry up and make it. You see, Hutsbane? Not all outsiders bow before the Huts. Bow to nobody. You are here for Hutsbane's head. But Nimro does not know one Evokai from another. Dead warriors' heads all look alike to him. You would desecrate our dead and give it to this? To an outsider? That's pretty nice. You want me to bring Nimro another Evokai head? Clever. It is the only way to save a warrior who inspires greatness in our people. No, there is no honor in making deals and butchering our own dead. Calm yourself, Hotsbane. I fear this outsider will best you if it comes to battle. Today, yep. we must place survival above honor. Outsider, will you take the head of a dead warrior as a substitute? Only if I get to take it. If I get to slice it off your dead warrior shoulders, I'm in. Some things cannot be said and go unpunished. Come and fall under my blades. Yeah. <laughs> Warriors, rally to Hutsbane! Well. 
Oh well. At least I'll get head speed. Let's burn, buddy, burn. Well, let's try and avoid by not killing him, but that works too. Ooh, we got an incoming message. Hey, it's Mako. Got some information for you. I'm in the middle of killing people for credits right now. I'm well, sorry to distract you, but there is that whole thing with the Great Hunt and Brayden's murder. The man who killed Brayden really was Taro Blood, a big shot from Alderaan. After he washed out of the last Great Hunt, Taro spent years building up support with the Mandalorians. The Great Hunt is a Mandalorian tradition. Entry rules are different for their people. Since Taro is a Mandalorian, he competes with them to enter. Now, he's buying off the other Mandalorians so they don't gang up on them again. Hmm. Well, he killed Brayden though, so he's, he's, he's gonna pay. I'll avenge Brayden, no matter who I have to go through. That's what I like to hear. For now, concentrate on impressing Nimro. His sponsorship is your only chance of getting close to Taro Blood. Oh, and one more thing. While I was out taking care of... Saying goodbye to Brayden and Jory, I caught someone following me. He was dressed like some off-world tribesman, tall, wore a white bone mask, like a death's head. Hmm. Oh, he will not bother you again. I'll put him on my to kill list. You are so fantastically simple sometimes. Anyway, eyes open. Go show that HUD who's the best bounty hunter in the galaxy. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, bonus objectives, just telling me about that. Great. Now, what else? All about different vendors. Ah, here we go. Someone to level up. All right, explosive dart and rail shot. All right, let's go ahead and expand our. There we go. I like that one. There we go. Perfect. So let's go. I like to go ahead and put things that I really don't use that much kind of on the side like all these run this one all right real shot and heat probably around there just because I probably will need it eventually but I don't really need it as much so let's go ahead and make our way back Ah, somebody. Alright, what's the dart here? Explosive dart. Nice. Little delayed dart there. That's pretty cool. And the rail fire is a powerful shot there. That's pretty cool. Probably have to... How much does it take, though? Oh, incapacitated targets. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So let's go there. What I also do like about the bars on the sides is that you can go ahead and open up the editor here and you can actually go ahead and make different like move them around and, and gr it's uh, it's really great not a lot of MMOs at least not the ones that I know or played uh, had that feature I believe they're going ahead and having that feature built in uh, to newer MMOs or to some of the older ones which is really great so you, especially when you're using uh, or you know making an MMO you have to keep up with the times and also kind of take from what other MMOs have and put it in your own or else it's just not gonna you know keep up and it might be good you know a couple years ago but it might not be good as good now as it was then so you gotta keep updating and things like that 
Just with anything. Alright, let's... Oh, I needed to keep going that way. Okay. So I'll get into the cantina, and I'm going to go ahead and end it on there. So with our next episode, we'll go ahead and uh, talk to Nimro, see what he wants us to do. Um, I got, you know, Hutzbane's head, so that's a good thing. Alrighty, well, we'll go ahead and end it here in the cantina. Again, I really appreciate you watching. And uh, go ahead, if you do like the videos and want me to keep doing this, hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great morning, afternoon, or evening, depending where you are. Yeah, thank you very much. Alright, take care.